Real fan, real talk. Face facts, what up, what up? Real fans, real talk.com. Where Arthur Domus, Trip Young, and Intern Tom. For the white and black fans, Asia to Manhattan. I'll get all my facts from my bro, Mark the Stats Man. If you're not too- Hi, my name is Mackenzie Vickers, and we're here in New York City for the Shaft premiere, which will be hitting theaters June 14th. Stay tuned. Uh, just my question for you. What has, um, what type of influence has this movie been on, in your life? Well, I'm from Harlem, and um, when you think of Harlem, you think of art, you think of creativity, and you most definitely think of fashion. So I think the movie has inspired so much fashion, so much creativity. It's just kind of, you know, and not only fashion and creativity, but even a whole language for our culture. All day today, I've been calling people jive turkeys. <laughs> So hopefully in the 2019 adaptation, they say Jive Turkey, because that's been my phrase all day. <laughs> Thank you so much. Thank you so much. You are the, um, the example of a true entrepreneur, hustler. I just respect everything that you do. What do you have as far as just a piece of advice for those that are just trying to just promote um, something that they feel passionate about? Uh, they're trying to promote something they're passionate about and how to turn it into... How to accelerate that. Yes. Uh, don't take out any money to do it. Uh, you know, just uh, really shoestring it. Create that following, and you know that if you're doing something, you obviously see a pain or something missing in the market. Yeah. Find all the people that agree with you that that pain is there because they'll get behind you, and they'll be the best ambassadors ever. Make all your mistakes for the first three to five years, and then at that point, decide if it's a hobby or decide you're going to take it to the next level. But don't bring another capital. Don't mortgage everything. Don't quit your day job. Just do it double down on your day job. You do your day job and then that is your other day job. If you do that, after five or six years, even if you fail, you'll go, I, I put it all on the line. Even if you fail, you'll go, I put it all on the line and I know that now I can survive because I didn't ruin my credit. And if you start to win, you have majority of your company and you didn't give it all away. And I'm sorry about that. And just also um, another question, what has this franchise um, been for you just as far as an influence? Well, I'll be, I'll be very honest. I, I, I had only seen number one at first, and then um, I coming here, I went to go see the Samuel Jackson one. But number one was big, inspiring to me because I remember when my mother took me to see the movie, and that was the first time I saw an African-American male who wasn't a pimp or drug dealer, and he was in a positive role, and he was enforcing things. I remember that day my mother said, you know what? If you can see a man like that, one day an uh, African-American male is going to be the president. And for a little young African-American male to see that in a positive role, it, it had a profound effect on me. And just my last question, are there any up and coming uh, projects that you have? Yeah, you know what, I have a couple of tracks coming up that are my speaking and my motivational speeches that somebody scored. I'm not a rapper, I'm not a music artist, I'm none of that. But one day I was listening to the great speech by Martin Luther King, and it was on his MLK Day, and somebody played a beat to it, and I was like, I want to work out with, to this for the rest of my life. And if you hear one of my regular speeches, you you heard it once, you heard it forever. But once you hear a rhythm to it on the bass, then I want somebody to think about that on the train, on the plane, yeah. getting up, going to the gym, about to go to work and kill it and make some of themselves. So, you know, being a motivational speaker, um, you know, I, I, I love just inspiring people. Thank you so much, and you definitely motivated me throughout the years. Thank you. Hi, how are you doing this evening? How are you? So what has this movie been um, as, as far as the influence in your life? Uh, <laughs> if at all. Uh, well, I wouldn't say this movie has had a, a real influence on my life, but uh, I grew up watching uh, Shaft, and I thought it was cool, you know. Uh, not that one, the one with uh, uh, Samuel Jackson. Uh, I think Busta Rhyme was on the year. That was a real, I liked that movie a lot, so um, I can't wait to see how this one turns out. Another question, where are you playing next year? I'm with the Wizards right now. Mm -hmm. Thank you so much. All right, nice meeting you. So what was your experience working in this film? It was wonderful. We had a blast. I mean, they have great co-stars, and they were truly wonderful to work with. So I had a blast. I loved it. Is there um, any piece of advice that you have for upcoming um, actresses that are trying to, you know? I always just say study. You know what I mean? Yeah. Study so that when your opportunity comes, you're great. Like, you don't have to worry about when. I always feel like if you're good and you're good at your craft, then eventually, you know what I mean? Like, patience. Yeah. Patience and, and study. Just my last question, is there anything in this process that you still get nervous about? Oh, of course. I'm nervous every time I do a project. Really? Of course. Every time I start a set, yeah. every time I start a job, I'm always nervous. I'm all, my agent's here. I'm always like, Andrew, I don't want him to. I'm like, Andrew, did anybody call? I'm always hoping I don't get fired. 
Thank you so much for your time. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank you. Thank mm -hmm. you. How were you able to embody that character? Was it natural for you or was it? <laughs> <laughs> it's fun for me. Uh, it gives me an opportunity to, you know, stretch myself in an interesting sort of way and be, you know, a little more confident, a little more daring, you know, to do stuff you don't normally do in your life. My last question, as far as the most recent events with Holly Berry and she's standing up for black press, how do you feel about that? Well, I feel we should, you know, stand up for everybody who's trying to do what they do. And, you know, as long as you guys are here, we're going to, you know, do what we can to help you get where you got to go. Thank you so much. Great. Yes, thank right. you. Thank you so You're much. Welcome. Have a good one. So tonight I had the pleasure of interviewing Samuel L. Jackson along with Regina Hall and a plethora of movie stars. The movie Shaft comes out in theaters June 14th. My name is Mackenzie Vickers. Stay tuned. This is Deontay the Bronze Bummer Wilder, heavyweight champion of the world, and you're watching Real Fans Real Talk. Face facts, what up, what up? Real Fans Real Talk.com. Well, Arthur Diamond's trip young and intern time for the white and black fans. Asia to Manhattan. I get all my facts from my bro, Mark the Stats Man. If you're not